Islamic State militants say they'll behead two Japanese men shown here in a propaganda video posted Tuesday if their country doesn't make a ransom payment of $200 million. How did they end up in this situation? Video both men shot of their journeys into Iraq and Syria tell much of the story. In a clip dated April 2014, Freelance journalist Kenji Goto documents his arrival at an airport in southern Turkey. Mr. Goto records himself as he crosses the Syrian border. The seasoned reporter, who's written a book about Rwandan child soldiers, had made his way into Syria and Iraq multiple times, each time coming out unharmed. It was during one of these trips that he met Haruna Yukawa, who was hoping to establish his own private military company. The two are seen together in a photo posted on Mr. Yukawa's blog which says they were in Iraq at the time. Why was Haruna Yukawa traveling to Iraq and Syria? Mr. Yukawa, described by friends who know him as a dreamer, appears based on his blog post to be a man whose life had gone adrift, writing that he'd attempted suicide in the mid-2000s after a business had failed. His wife had died of cancer. In another post, he says that in 2012, he spent a month homeless. He traveled to Iraq and Syria under the auspices of starting a private security company. Based on his own account, he found purpose in his life traveling to war zones, saying he felt more comfortable in these dangerous places than in his native Japan. Between May and June of last year, videos uploaded to a YouTube account associated with him capture graphic images of wounded children and bodies, destroyed buildings in war-ravaged Aleppo, Syria, He's saying we are civilians. and conversations with victims through a translator. His posts say that Syrian rebels allowed him to accompany them. How was Mr. Yukawa captured by the Islamic State? The details are unclear. In an image from an unverified video posted in August, he seems to be injured and in the hands of captors, though it's unclear who. Why was Kenji Goto in Syria? A video captioned October 2nd shows him on his way from Turkey into Syria, getting a pass issued by the Syrian Media Center. On Twitter, he said he was setting off on a reporting trip to Kobani, a Syrian town near the Turkish border, where Islamic State was battling Kurdish forces. In a video reportedly shot on his guide's cell phone, Mr. Goto explains that he alone is responsible for the risks he's taking. It is my responsibility uh, if something happens. His family, who raised the alarm with Japanese authorities when he didn't return as planned in October, says Mr. Goto had told them he was on a mission to rescue Mr. Yukawa. Now, with Japan's prime minister vowing not to give in to the ransom demands of Islamic State, and given the outcome for other foreigners the militants have captured, the fate of both men seems to hang in the balance. That's the short answer.